I had this problem originally with the device. The maintenance room of my house is behind the screen here, and so my furnace and HVAC equipment's back there. So it sounds like the furnace is about to kick on, or is trying to. And so, as you can see there, there was a, a shot that I didn't hit that shows up as 14 yards of carry with a backspin of 12,000, which I think is the max reading here. But the fan's starting to kick on now, so... All right, again, I'm not hitting shots. And as you guys can see, like with HVAC running, you know, I think this is kind of pretty common too if people are using these things in sheds or in garages and they have like like a big heater running or some sort of huge electric fan running. This is the kind of interference and this is what you might see. And when you're out here in like the driving range in practice mode, you know, you can kind of adjust for this, no big deal. But like if you've got this thing connected to sim software and you're playing with your friends at your house or maybe you're playing like, you know, the auto putt tour or something like on GS Pro, it can cost you strokes and you it can be very, very, very frustrating. So if you are considering this device, it's one thing to consider like you in your area, you need to make sure it's a very clean environment. And for radar, you know, you don't need any exposed concrete. You need to try to stay away from fluorescent lights. Um, you need to worry about like big fans, uh, your HVAC, uh, like is my problem right here. It's probably ghostly or phantom hit six or seven shots already. And in just the last couple of minutes. For me to use the device down here in my space, I have to make sure to one, in the winter time, you know, maybe run the heat in the house, go ahead and heat the house up and then turn it way down so that it doesn't kick on. All right, so real quick, we're gonna to touch on some of the things you maybe wanna look out for and then what you can maybe do to kind of combat that or, or kind of fix these issues. So real quick, you wanna look out for exposed concrete or metal. Um, you know, if you're kind of gonna be close or running next to your HVAC system, kind of like I am, any kind of large appliances, like if you have a beverage fridge or maybe a deep freezer, uh, portable heater, or any kind of like large fan. Uh, and then also two other electronic devices. So like, you know, your desktop PC or laptop PC, if you're running SIM software from that, or even like your projector if you're using an impact screen. And so real quick, we'll go through those things. So like for the exposed concrete and metal, like you just wanna to try to cover that up or remove it if you can. So you can get some really cheap carpet or putting turf or even rugs to kind of cover the space between the Garmin R10 and all the way up to your net or your impact screen. And then as far as like HVAC issues, like what I kind of do to deal with mine is I'll maybe turn the heat up or turn the AC on, let it run a little bit before I start my session. And then I'll just kind of basically cut the unit off until I get done playing. Um, as far as like with appliances, those are gonna be kind of hit or miss. You kind of need them to kick on. Uh, so I definitely recommend like once you get this set up in your area or your space, um, you know, go into the driving range kind of like what I was doing and then just kind of see like when the appliances kick on, if you get any kind of interference and phantom shots or misreads or or just any kind of funny stuff. Uh, then you can kind of start eliminating like the appliances, the heaters, the fans by just turning them on and off, you know, to see if they're gonna cause an issue. With the other electronics, kind of the same thing. If you're using a laptop or a desktop PC, uh, you wanna make sure that really anything that might cause interference, you're running from behind where you have the Garmin R10 set up. That's gonna probably be your best bet. Um, for projectors, most likely, that's not gonna be the case. You can't really move the projector. So if it is causing problems, then there are some other people on here on YouTube that have created Faraday cages for their projectors. So you might have to check in a solution like that if your projector ends up being a problem. All right, guys, I wanna thank you guys again for watching the video today. Um, make sure to give the video a like. We're gonna continue the uh, Garmin R10 series over the next couple of weeks with some more videos coming. You guys have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.